Hello all. So in this video, we'll see how we can embed a BAP, BAP report uh, in a sub tab. So, so for that, first we need to create a BAP report as per the requirement. And we need to get the URL uh, from the BAP report. And then uh, we should we should use that URL to uh, uh, to navigate to the report while uh, while clicking on that sub tab. So a mashup content is um, like an iframe. So where we can we can show our uh, external application URLs, uh, like all that content we can show in the mashup content. So so first step is uh, we need to get the uh, report link, right? So for that we should. Um, I'll open my data model. So I'm using a simple uh, query for getting account account information, and my parameters are party ID and party type. And these are my parameters appearing here under parameters uh, tab. So now we'll we'll open this report. So here I can see parameters as parameter uh, party type and then account ID, some specific part account ID. So now if I give uh, apply, so the in information for that particular record will be displayed here. So now we need to get the URL for this report. So the, the better option uh, to get the URL uh, for this report is we should go to the XMLP server. So for that, we should use the uh, we should use the uh, application server name followed by XMLP server. So it, the UI will be looks like exactly same as uh, uh, BI publisher. So here we should open the report that we uh, created and then again we should give the parameters so if i click apply uh, my uh, report with that uh, information will be displayed here then uh, for getting the url links we should click on this gear icon and then share report link so here we will see four options First one is current page. So current page will come exactly same as the uh, the whatever we are seeing, including home home page, home home button, and report name, search, uh, home link, home catalog, all these links and these options, and parameters, all the options that we are seeing here, refresh all that with with the pay uh, with the report content it will come uh, if you use current page. But if you use no head. The header in header we are seeing here right account report for demo uh, search whatever the uh, content we are seeing within this blue uh, uh, blue header uh, so that will not be uh, that will not come if you use no header and if you use no parameters means uh, the, the parameters we are seeing party type account id this will not be visible and document only so it will just give the content of this report, nothing else. There are no parameters, no header, no links, no options here. So, so for now I'll use uh, document only. I just want uh, the report content and dynamically I'm, I'm going to pass parameters under everything. So I'm using document only link. So now I have link. So I should I have copied this link, whatever I'm getting here, and then I'm going to application composer. And my step now is to create mashup content. I should create mashup content and then I should use that mashup content in my sub tab. So mashup content will be av available in common setup. Here, click on register web application. So 
so here we can see two options one is parameter based and one is groovy expression if we use parameter based so we should give some static url here and then we can define some parameters and while while using this uh, uh, this mashup content in sub tab there we have to pass uh, the, this parameter values so we can pass that parameters values dynamically so the other way is uh, groovy expression so uh, if, if we use Groovy expression, we can give the entire URL from the Groovy palette itself, or we can define some, uh, some part of a, a static URL here. And then if, we, if there is any uh, other path or other parameters that we can provide uh, using Groovy, or the whole uh, report URL, we can construct in Groovy expression, and then we can return uh, and then that that link we can use in the mashup content uh, in the sub tab. So for now I'm I'm giving blank. So so I, I want to make this URL as a, a dynamic 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 URL. So if I open test environment, I should get test test environment URL, dev dev environment URL, production production environment URL. So for that reason, I'm keeping it blank, keeping blank here, and then I'm using Groovy expression. So my uh, mashup content registration is done, and then I'm going to account detail page. So where I will be using this mashup content, and I'll create a new sub tab with this mashup content. So I'm going to create a new sub tab with the mashup content so and i'll select my mashup content account report so then here i need to provide my uh, report url return then url so I need to use dynamic, right? So I'm using this function. Uh, this groovy function will return the URL. And also I'm giving the parameter uh, ID, if we see parameters, parameter party type and uh, account ID. So here also I'm changing it to the dynamic value uh, using dollar symbol. And then I'm uh, validating and then I'm clicking next uh, and then I'll save. So to verify the changes, I'm going to the account page and then I'll try to open a uh, one sample uh, record and I should see uh, the report specific to that account. So here I can see account report and just clicking on this sub tab. So a pop, uh, like now you can observe the record information, the report ran and it passed the values, parameter values dynamically. And it gave the report only for this particular record. So you can observe this is my account name that I opened. And this is the account I'm getting in the report. So, so in this way, we can embed a report with parameters. If you don't want, uh, if you are not using any parameters, then we can ignore that uh, expression dynamically. So we can just uh, uh, so we can just copy that URL and then we can just paste it in the Groovy expression so that. Uh, the report, the entire report will work without any filters here. And so, so that's all about uh, the uh, BAAP report embedding.